Hey, not this year. Playing Hive Swap Act Two, Dead Freight. I have been waiting so fucking long for this game to come out. I meant to play the first one on the channel, but never got around to it. I already I, I played through it completely though, and replayed it to get all the uh, achievements that I could. So good, <laughs> so fucking good. From what I understand, this takes place right after everything left off in the last one. So, yeah, we'll see. Oh, yes. Uh, this is the newest one, so yes. God, I'll turn you look so fucking bleak, dude. Go! Bus stop. Or, I guess, train station. <laughs> nice. For any of you who don't know what's going on, uh, this is sort of a side story to Homestuck. I guess, it, I don't know when exactly it takes place in the timeline. But, to put it simply, a young human girl accidentally opened a magic portal, or technological portal, or whatever the fuck, and swapped places with one of these fuckers. A troll. They are an insectoid alien race from another universe that is bent on galactic domination. They also have a horrifying caste system, and yeah. You'll probably get content clues before, or as we go along, but yeah. Uh, yeah, didn't read that. Fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, give me a second. What do you think? Fits at least. Sort of smells like nacho cheese, but it could be worse. Oh, yeah. So I forgot the dirty one. Just make sure you keep your hood up. You think it'll fool anybody if I don't have horns? Uh, well, just keep your head down if you can. Sure, of course. I guess the next question is, where are we headed? So we're gonna see one of your friends. Will he freak out when he sees me? Cordia? Nah, I don't think she'll really care about you being an alien. Besides, she's got way more important things to think about right now with her huge party going on. Well, I keep my I keep my eyes peeled for a better disguise. How many, how many people are gonna be at this party? Probably a lot. She's a violet blood, so, you know. No, I don't know, Zephros. I don't know anything. Right, wow. Basically, all you need to know is she's pretty influential, and getting her on board was a really big break for us. But right now, we should probably just get out of here as fast as possible. What with, you know, the drones and all. Right, side your house and everything. And your crushed bones. Yeah, I'll be fine. Great! <laughs> Uh, looks like you're ready to begin your quest. If you need any help in your journey, the question mark button on your you question mark button, oh on your you okay yeah I read that right. You guys available for use. Hence will now be of excess blood. All puzzles will enjoy the Okay. Huh? Who said that? Said what? Hmm. I must have been hearing things. Let's go find some train tickets. Okay. So what do I got with me? I have. Is it gonna help anything? I have a book, a purse, or some shit. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Steep pusher, turn around. Idea. Ugh. Wonderful. And I can switch between them quick and dirty. Good to know. Oh, oh, they have their own inventories. Sweet. Good to know. That will really help things out a lot. Uh, look. Back soon. I wonder how long how long soon is. Okay. It's back since 
Imagine it'd be possible for Gate to look sci-fi if this Gate is pulling it off. Oh, even your clocks are different. Wild. Seems a little stressed out. A closer look and you're pretty sure you know why. She looks very dirty and very mad. You don't think you have any money? You don't know what they eat here. There's a lot of food in Demix Hive that looks like it might have been food. Or a lot of stuff in the... She kind of hope it wasn't. There's no time for snacks. It's the best. You gonna pass out? No. Good, because I'm not catching you. Stop scratching at your wound. What would your loose say? He wouldn't say anything. He's dead. Ugh, it's a hypothetical scenario. Mine's dead too, Nook Breath. My god, are you guys okay? Wow, I am being an idiot. Of course you aren't okay. It's fine. Sometimes you lose stuff. Sometimes a leg. Sometimes you lose the person who raised you from a grub. That's life. Wow. <laughs> Do you know where we can get tickets? Yeah, from the machine over there. You can't just go right up there and use it. What do we have to do? You have to wait until that weirdo in the costume gets back from his break. He's the only knows the trick to make that busted up machine work. I think he's in the cafe, maybe? You can convince him to come back early. Thanks. We'll go talk to him. Um, hope your leg is okay? I'm sure wherever it is, it's fine. <laughs> 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 Why, why, why was that so f Oh, no. Mm. Imperial drones. Oh, no. Where, where are we? Last thing I remember is the explosion. I thought it was dead for sure. Dear cat, Mr. Dragons to safety. Oh, dear cat, never thought you'd do something like that. Like, you know, like it shot me from the silly situations I'm always getting into. I guess because Damic wasn't here to tell you any better. What about those trolls back there? Are they okay? Should we try to help them? Um, nah, I'm sure they're fine. Trolls are tough. Like, hey, even I'm still alive, right? Well, if you're sure, but I don't think it loses. Was it here right behind us? Just a drone bombing, no big deal. I'm sure he'll find his way home to wait for me. <laughs> we should keep moving forward, right? Where do we go from here? Uh, I don't know. I've never been this far of outlet for. <laughs> I've never been this far from my planet. Wow, neither of us know anything. Hey, that's not totally true. You might, we might both know only a few things. Maybe if we put our heads together, we'll know just enough. It'll all work out. Actually, Joey, I don't think so. To get out of here, we need to know where we were and where we're going. The only way we could figure either of those things out is if we had a map or if we used the constellations to guide us. Which neither of us could do anyway because you're an alien and I'm stupid. <laughs> well, we'll probably be lost forever. So I think what you just said was an example of how being able to put words in whatever order you want doesn't make what you said necessarily true. This sound really cool. You know, why don't we take a look around before giving up? I guess it's a good idea, too. See what I mean? I'm too done to come up with plans like that by myself. Sure you are, buddy. Hey, look. Wide? Probably not too wide to cross. You can swim in theory. It looks pretty fast, though. Oh wow, that is, that is sure as a bug that's standing there. It's out in the middle of nowhere. A giant bug. Anybody else seeing this giant bug? What? No. Hello? There's no answer. Maybe it's abandoned? H Hello? Is anyone here? 
It's not. What should we do? <laughs> Zephyros? Ah! What is it? I'm sorry, it's just. Just what? You have the hoodie on, I can't stop freaking out about how you don't have horns. Joey, we can't get on the train like this. Everyone, everyone will know. Okay, okay, don't panic. Um. Let me take a look around. Maybe we'll find something. In someone else's hive? I don't know. That could end badly for us. Hmm. You're right. Stealing is pretty rude. But it's an emergency. What if we left something in exchange? Uh, well, I guess that'd be fine. As long as we do it in a way so that they can they can never track us down. Right. Er, I wonder how much money I have. Wait. I was I don't have any money. I'm on another planet. I don't even know what you guys use for money. <laughs> money doesn't really mean all that much on Alternia, but in terms of personal value, uh, and um, uh, but items of personal value are worth a lot. What is wrong with me? Like mementos and stuff? Yeah, kinda. Let's see what I got on me. Um, I have a Q bat. No, I might need that. A bat? I'm expecting to play these sports. Only if we were only if we're unlucky. Um, there's this mic. Damn it, gave me. No, that's probably crucial to future events. A uh, spoon. I bet might work. Why are you carrying around a bent spoon? Uh, it makes me feel some small semblance of competence, I guess. Sephiroth, please don't attach yourself for us to the fact that you can bend a spoon. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'll just leave this right here. Now let's go find you a better disguise. So I almost have junk here to build a scuttlebug. What's a scuttlebug? It's a primitive four-wheel vehicular device that was exported from one of the expert in Princess Colonies a hundred years ago. Scuttlebug can only be used on a wide, flat plane, so it never caught on because it's easier to ride your loosest or take the train. But some trolls make them for fun because they're a good place to pale with your mates, Brett. To what with your what? Um, never mind. Let's just abruptly change the topic to anything else. <laughs> okay. Hey, Joe, look at this cool stick. That is a pretty cool stick. Told you. Oh, rummage. Can't find a troll costume in this pile of junk. You'd imagine since we're looking for something completely undefined and random, this would be the place to find it, huh? Yeah, kind of weird that it's that it's of no significance to our journey at all. Can't find anything. If we could move those lights, so we could see into the back of the cave. We can't reach them from here. I forgot to move them. Telekinesis. Zephyrus. Are you okay? Wow, I have a migraine now and the lights didn't move at all. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, okay. What the fuck? Still what? You don't do much painting. I really since all those watercolors in elementary school. You might just put them up, the, up on the fridge. You don't know where they went. That's blood, by the way. The person who lives here must be an artist. I wonder what this is supposed to mean. Too bad they're not here to tell us. I've heard of the point of art like this is to interpret it ourselves. What do you think it means? Hmm. I have no idea. I guess it could represent finding joy in the pure randomness of life? That sounds nice. What if it means the exact opposite thing? Clothes are a little bit like me gets with Ascension Day, the more they fantasize about randomness. This could be an expression of the artist longing to break free from the constraints of the caste system. Of course, any troll cop making all that art like this would be cold for sedition in no time. But they couldn't keep pretending they were loyally resigned to a brutal life of servitude anymore. And this is their last defined act of freedom. Oh, that would be really sad if it was true, wouldn't it? But it must be nice to expire for something you believe in instead of living a long, pointless life. Knowing that you had a choice between safety and bravery and chose the uncomfortable path? Which would you choose, Joey? I... I don't think I've ever had to think about it before. Oh, sorry, sometimes I just speak without thinking. <laughs> That's not really dumb right now rambling like that. No, Zephyros, it's not a dumb question. Even if you never have to think about difficult topics, it's probably a good thing to do. 
Otherwise, we don't even realize we're choosing, right? Um, right. So, what are you doing right now? It's the safety of bravery. Um, I'm starting to make my head hurt. <laughs> me too. I'm not even sure I know what it means to be brave. Well, I think it's when you're a low blood like me. Most of your choices aren't really a choice at all. It's going to be the only possible option in any given scenario. So, to be brave and leave a legacy, you have to make a difficult choice. What is a difficult choice? How do you recognize a real choice when you see one? I guess it'd be a choice that wasn't obvious at the time. Like dying in a violent blaze of glory for the right thing to make ugly art. Or for the right to make ugly art. Or maybe it's just a monster with a bunch of feet. Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> These mushrooms are huge. Your plan is mushrooms? Of course! When I was little, my dad taught me how to tell poisonous plants from edible ones in case they were lost in the wilderness. And now you are! Yeah, but... I saw him get sick from something he ate on an adventure too many so many times, and I'm pretty sure he just made it all up. That's probably why I decided to stop trusting everything he says. The one thing he's supposed to be good at is trekking through the savage underbrush, and he couldn't even teach me which mushrooms were okay to eat. Um, well, not these ones. Vagalo mushroom is the most poisonous fungus in Alternia. If you eat one, they'll rot your stomach. When you test them, they leave a residue that'll make you burn up in a moonlight like the sun is still out. Oh no. There's another mushroom called the Noble Globe that looks almost exactly the same, except that the gills have subtle fold that grows in the opposite direction. The only way you can tell the difference is by laying flat on your back with the mushroom and checking your global coordinates to make sure you got the right one. Can you just touch it to see if it burns? You're right. I'll do I'll do that right away. So first, no, I was kidding. <laughs> oh god, that's a Oh fuck me, I didn't even know, realize what the hell that was. Oh shit. It's so realistic. Is it a statue or taxidermy? Taxidermy. Uh, jeez, how do I even explain this? Is it complicated? N not really. I just hate it. It's when you kill an animal, take out all its insides, and stuff the corpse with fabric. Then you display it in your house in a sick display of dominance over nature. Oh, you mean like taxidermitation? <laughs> taxidermitation? Taxidermitation. So when an Imperial soldier gets, de gets demerited so hard that they forfeit their right to dignity and death. After they're executed, the Empress has, to t has their chitin stuffed and placed in their personal trophy room. See, it can always get worse. If you say so. It's probably, probably gonna love me. <laughs> it's... that's a dead mother grub. <clears throat> no, we can't leave that check nearby first. Ah, oh, fuck! Fuck haven't I checked? <coughs> Barnacles so far away from the ocean. Yeah, these things have a mind of their own. Um, don't touch it, please. Is it poisonous? It's super poisonous. Let's straight blood from the poison of your chitin until you die if you touch it. Gee, I don't want to know what it does to you without chitin. Is everything on this planet poisonous? Are you poisonous? Good question. Doesn't seem like it. I meant to humans. Oh, do you want to touch it too? Here, Joey. Lick my arm. Uh, no, that's fine. Oh, fuck. Uh, yeah, cool. Is there anything else in this fucking room that I have not checked yet?
What the shit? It is, bud. Oh my fucking god. Where the fuck am I supposed to be checking? I'm aware of this. Alright, I'll be back in a bit once I figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing here. So yeah. So yeah. Oh, did I do it? Hey, I did it! <laughs> Ta-da! They look just like horns! Oh, they really do! Alright, so then... Back in here, maybe? Not pick them up. I guess I didn't fucking pick them up. I don't know. Oh, hey, that was right. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh, hives. 
Oh, beehives. Oh, wow, I didn't know the cave would open up such a cozy little farm. This place is adorable. Maybe if I had some good things in it after all. Yeah. We should be pretty close to the next station if we can get through the forest up ahead. Long this is local train stops and regulated for six centuries. Be spaced exactly eight caption. Capacity monitors. Okay. Capacity monitors apart from one another. Which means we're coming up on it. There was, I have no idea what that unit of measurement could possibly equate to. Anyways, this is some kind of bee farm? The bee hearts are so cute. Where are the bees? Let's just keep walking. We don't want to get involved with anyone's private hive life. Oh, okay. Where are the bees? Okay, you're not allergic, but you're not going to poke a beehive. <laughs> Look one of these. Smells sort of fruity. Juice? One. The door's locked. So stage. That one in literal flames. Wait, long in the well. Huh? Why? It's filled with my, my honey runoff. Mind honey runoff? It's pretty dangerous. It'll burn your view gloves out of your head holes if you look at it. Oh gosh. Thanks for warning me, Zephyrus. I could have made a really big mistake. <laughs> yeah, uh, for sure. I've seen one of these up close before. That's a well, right? I'm gonna guess what the heck that is. It smells sweet and a little bit rotten. Honey. Okay, there's literally nothing else here. Wait. Eh, whatever. Exit. Joey, wait. Huh? What's wrong now? Don't tell me. Manning implants, giant moths that fire lasers out of their butts, trees that have big angry faces on them use their branches to attack poor infants travelers like that one part in Snow White. Actually, yeah, you nailed it. Wow, Joey, you're so smart. Ugh, you can't be serious. Not only do you have this crazy air that's going to space storm trying to kill everybody, your trees are also trying to kill everybody? Yeah, he builds character. Jesus, but it sucks. So how do we get through this forest? Well, when Tetrarch Dammit can be passed through strange areas and tested the flame by inner strength, he rubbed me down with Tusk Vertebrae Slurry so I could blend him with the local fauna. What is that? Tusk what? Oh, well, honestly, it's better if you don't know. Anyways, basically applying any critter ways to ourselves from the local area will work. Crushed up bee carcasses, arachnosac fluid, that sort of thing. We have to smell like the forest. Yuck, this is such a gross detour. Yeah, sorry, I did, sorry you had to deal with it. Well, let's take a look around for some stuff to rub on ourselves so we can pass through the forest without getting eaten by giant trees or bugs or whatever. Fruit comes with the trees, goes in the press, becomes juice, and it's poured into the sex over there. This process happens most likely. Why? You have no idea. Alright. Probably moves whatever the heck that thing is. Kind of globes, kind of ballsy to do in the middle of fucking. Look. Great. What the fuck? Really? <laughs> yes, you could. Yes, you could. No, you won't. Your neighbor's yard, he used to make positive evidence, he was said now he's dead. Probably never seen a fence before. Ugh, fuck. Hmm.
Wonderful. Thought it was locked though. It's locked. We just break in. What? Set for us it's a crime. It's fine. They probably won't be coming back anytime soon. Does it make it okay? Not like we're gonna steal anything. We're just gonna look for something to help us out through the forest. Take what we need and get out. Like we did in the cavern. Like we did in the cave. How are we gonna get inside without breaking anything? I don't wanna ruin someone's nice home. I can just jostle the lock with my mind. It's a primitive tech look tech look at lock in, so even my terrible psychics can do it. Wait, you're what? My psychics. The first, hold on. Do you have psychic powers? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Why didn't you tell me? Do humans not have those? No? Does everyone else play have psychic powers? No, not everyone. I think they're kind of uncommon, actually. But, Burgundies tend to be more receptive to the mind, mind stuff, so you can find a lot more gutter blood trash with weak sauce telekinetics. Including me. It's still really cool. No, it's not. Troll telekinetics who are actually cool can fire mind demons, command ghost armies and stuff, but usually the J bus cull or indoctrinate the good ones before they pupate. I'm just one of the bad ones to live behind. Well, is that for us? As somebody who lives on a planet where psychic powers are only in Star Wars and horror movies and stuff, I think you're the bee's actual knees. Wow! I'm gonna see you up in the lock with your cool Jedi mind powers. Okay, sure, just switch characters to me and use my telekinesis powers on the drawer. That totally wasn't fucking... Okay. Never such a quest more common than it before. Okay, here goes. Click. Whew. Uh, should be open now. Wow, it actually worked. So cool. It's rest like, I don't think you believe in me, but I really, truly really mean it. You're very cool. You're right. I don't believe you at all. Yeah. I do feel really weird breaking and everything, though. Don't worry about it. I'm sure the other one won't mind. Go on. Oh, fuck. It's a lamp. It's food in the food closet. <laughs> Look. Eat. Is that a vegetable? Never had any vegetables that didn't come out of a new Trish pod. Frankly, the idea makes me nervous. You never really care for honey. It's sweet, but it's also chalky. You never know when to blow your brains out back to your skull. Rain fruit. Eh, you can take it or leave it. You don't want to get your fingers all sticky. It's Joey. Oh. It's like an accident waiting to happen. You're not tall enough to hit your head on any of those, but you managed it somehow. Make sure this doesn't have to sleep in a cage. It's such a pain to clean. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good thing. Uh, must be the rest of the block. You won't be going in. Absolutely not. Best room. Cornucopia baskets. The kind you see in this game. Specials. Alien honey science thing going on here. It's frankly baffling. I'm not sure how, how edible this is. You're hungry. You're not that hungry. Is that a brain? It's full of seeds, so you don't think it is, but you've actually never seen what a real brain looks like. You have business full of seeds. This is nice. You're not sure if they're actually supposed to be decor or something else. Maybe they're herbs. Oh, it's a bug. A big old bug. And a cage. A bug cage. A cage for bugs. Pretty well stocked. They didn't recognize much. A guide to bee dances? Are these dances based on bees or dances for bees? The world may never know. Either way, you can't reach for it. It's a weird lamp. Can nothing here be normal? So, so I'm supposed to grab bees. I need to find it. I'm just gonna grab the fucking thing. Joe can listen. Cool, from this, she reads it. He got it down. Look, amazing. An endless font of knowledge pertaining to the emulation of bees. You've learned to do dance. Yay! That leads back outside. <laughs> Housebreaker. Alright. Let the beats think you're mocking them. 
Oh, do I have to do it for the fucking nooses? You dance your heart out. Give them some real rounds of dazzle and finish with an award-winning pose. But all those big B does is hiss at you. Tough crowd. Well, I didn't know I was in the company of a professional prima ballet raper. <laughs> Thanks, I think. Yeah, this is really good, but why waste it on a low blow cultural rabbit like me? It was for the bee. You know, let it be dance, perform for a bee. It makes sense, right? He didn't seem to like it, but I'm glad you did. Yeah, luckily I've got both few gloves in full working order. I bet this wasp loses in response because you're a freaky alien who looks like she has a skin disease and got her horns perfectly amputated due to having soft fatty cheeks like a grub that should have been called immediately upon birth to Brittany Gavins. Thanks. Actually, this just gets enough visual stimulation. Maybe that triggers some kind of response we want? Huh? I'm sorry, just thinking my dumb thoughts out loud. It means nothing. Maybe you should try putting on some fake horns to look like, like more like a troll? Maybe the wasp would like a dance then. You could use those traffic ones picked up. It's a great idea! Those shells look like horns too. Those cornucopia things? I also use those horns as fake horns, I guess. That's an even better idea. Oh gosh, I'm getting choice overloaded. What a monumental decision. Which horn should I wear? Uh. Uh, fuck. Oh, uh, fuck. Let's go with cones. Hey, got you. And voila. How did they look? Just like a real troll. Well, a real troll with a flesh eating lethal bacteria and having their pores, but that's more common than you think. Awesome. Oh, wait, do horns just mean anything? Are they like horoscopes? Uh, yeah, kinda. What does this pair say about me? I guess with how hard and pert they are, it kinda says that you've got a really well developed personality. That's very nice and wholesome. No, it's not. I'll try my bee dance again now. It really is not. The beer chitters. The, the beer. The bee chitters excitedly. If you shut your eyes and pretend the noise is coming from human hands as opposed to horrifying moist alien incisors, you might even mistake it for applause. You think that's a good sign? Hey, wait, hold on a second. What's it doing? <laughs> Zephyros, I feel funny. I feel like, like, like all my worries are totally gone. I guess that wasp really works, huh? Seems so. This will definitely let us get through the forest without wasps eating us alive. <laughs> it's really fun to smell like the forest. I'm not even worried about making it to the next train station anymore. I think on an abstract level, I'm worried about not being worried since my anxiety has this far been the main thing that's prevented me from dying. But I don't feel emotionally, which is a strange thing to conceptualize, but I'm really okay with it. It's nice to not have to worry every once in a while. Maybe you ought to, uh, while there for us, maybe you ought to use this stuff more often. <laughs> I think there's a high chance that once it wears off, I'm going to start stress crying so hard I won't be able to walk. So maybe we should hurry. <laughs> okay, let's get on our way then. That's, Jesus, that fucking wasp ray got them so fucking high. It's not even funny. Hey, boy. Yo. Ah, uh, fuck. Phew, finally made it. Why that bee gunk wore off? Are you not stress crying? <laughs> what? Stress crying? Everything's great. Normal. Zephyrus, it's fine. Getting your house bombed, meeting an alien, getting bombed again, getting juiced by a giant bee, and then peeing yourself when deer cat suddenly caught up with us on the road is a pretty scary chain of events. It's totally okay to let it all out. Yeah. Um, anyway, we should message Crydia and let her know we're coming. Her contact information should be on the tablet you have. Alright, we just messaged you from here. Good, what should I say? Um, on our way. Alright. Well, I guess we just have to wait and see if she answers later. Anyway, we should buy ticks. Huh? Oh, the tickets. I had to say the X, it's my thing. I'm sorry. Surface is okay. I support your personal style choices. Please don't worry. What do we got to buy the tickets? Oh, that should be an automated kiosk that sells them around here somewhere. Okay, let's go look. God, he is such a prick. Imagine the guys on the music channels your babysitter watches. She thinks you aren't there. 
If you walk in, she'll flip it to the boring kids' chat. Get her at. Hey, you kids need something? Nope, just pass it on through. It's rude to stare. Uh, look, lady. I got no idea what your blood color is, but I do know ain't no way it's blue enough for me to be interested in anything you got to say. Wow? Let's get out of here, Zephros. Okay. Take a pick, huh? But actually, don't really. I charge for those. Prick. So this looks like a really needlessly complicated system. Why isn't this guy behind the counter? Technology is cool and whatever, but it's always been more J Jude's thing than yours. Oh, well, we found it. The machine is right up there. All we have to do is buy some ticks, and then we can board. Cool beans. All right, let's see what, we, what we, uh, let's see what we've got. So, where do I go in here? Oh, I see. Input destination. Uh, Jiffy Quick Special. Nice. I see, I see two tickets. Blood color. Well, I guess we can put us both as burgundy bloods. Oh, no. Oh, no. Joey, wait. Oh, oh no, what did I do? Uh, be right back. Okay, so. When I paused, I, I saw the time, and Jesus, I didn't realize I've been recording for that fucking long. <laughs> so, I'm gonna end this episode here, and get back to it, well, in the next episode. I expected that, th that this was gonna happen. I didn't want to say anything, because I wasn't sure. But, yeah, I kind of figured that was gonna happen. So, with all that being said, I guess, uh, yeah. See ya!